Welcome back to the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this video, I'm going to discuss the importance of analog to digital conversion. Why ADC is required? What is the purpose of ADC? First of all, we have to understand why ADC is required for the data conversion. It is very clear that most of the sensors give analog output. You know, our microcontroller or microprocessor that works only in digital form. It can't directly connect to the microcontroller. Sensor output will be analog, so you cannot directly connect the analog output to the microprocessor or microcontroller. Why? Because it's a digital device. So what is the remedy? Yes, of course, you have, you have to convert the data which is in the form of analog to the digital form so that microprocessor can operate comfortably. So it will act as an interfacing device. Some microcontroller will have inbuilt ADC like uh, AVR at mega 32 or PIC microcontroller. You know, all those microcontroller will have the inbuilt ADC. But in general case, if you consider you, you require one ADC. All right. That is a purpose. Basically, ADC involves two segments or two process. The first one is called quantization process and second one is known as coding. These are the two process which uh, involves in every type of ADC. According to the principle of quantizing, the transformation of a continuous analog input into a set of discrete output or set of discrete stage that is called a quantization process corresponding analog value you will be transforming the analog into digital form that process is generally called as quantizing in continuation with the quantizing there is another process called coding so the allocation of digital code for each output stage is generally called as coding like uh, if it is high we consider one if it is low mean we consider zero only two forms are available two states are available uh, in case of adc one is high state another is low state you can represent the high state and low state by using the binary numbers one and zero that is all about uh, adc process do remember these are the two important process involved in every type of adc when it comes to the basic elements of AD analog to digital conversion, we have to mention one of the important term called sample and hold circuit. It is also known as SBARS circuit, sample and hold circuit. We have the analog input from the sensors. Then analog input will be directly connected to ADC through sample and hold circuit. ADC is a device that is called analog to digital converter. The process of con converting analog form to digital form is known as analog to digital conversion. Converter and conversion. I think you will understand. So, by the way, the analog input will be directly connected to ADC, analog to digital converter, through one device that is called sample and hold circuit. What is the purpose of sample and hold circuit? The main purpose of sample and hold circuit is, the, is to hold the signal, hold the input until the next value occur, until the new pulse, uh, it, it is basically uh, for conversion, we, we, we have to hold the previous value. That is the main purpose of sample and hold circuit. That means it holds each sample value until the next pulse occur. That is the purpose of S bar H circuit, sample and hold circuit. I think it's clear to everyone. Moving further, I, I would like to show you a waveform which depicts the importance of ADC. As everybody can observe, we have the analog signal. So it is very clear that we have the analog signal, maybe sensor output, sensor output. But our microcontroller cannot read the analog signal directly. So we have to convert analog form to digital form. 
then using a crystal oscillator we have to provide certain pulses with a certain frequency you have to generate the pulses using a crystal oscillator that is representing the second wave it is also called clock signal later by using sample and hole circuit you have to make out the sample signal you require a sample signal so whenever one for one point is converted into digital form the previous value should be hold it so we require s bar x circuit later we will be getting corresponding the analog form as you can observe corresponding analog form these are the analog form right corresponding analog form we should get the digital form with uh, each and every segment one is higher value other will be lower value so this is actually called a sample and a held signal so this is the way how analog signal is going to convert into digital form i wanted to show you one block diagram so that you will understand uh, the major components of analog to digital converter so by the way let us have a brief observation on adc so we have a sensor everybody please observe here sensor output will be analog right okay analog output analog now uh, in order to match the impedance we require one buffer amplifier it is the main purpose of buffer amplifier is the impedance transformation also whatever the input you are going to provide that will be follow the output that follows the output that is called a uh, buffer amplifier it is also known as voltage follower you can make out buffer amplifier by using operational amplifier lm uh, 30 uh, 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 you can lm741 any type of ic can be used in order to filter out high frequency signal you require a low pass filter okay uh, the main main operation of low pass filter that will be taken place by using the principle like we have sample frequency fs and we have cut off frequency fc the thing is the cut off frequency should not be greater than sampling frequency fs in indicates sampling frequency fc is the cut off frequency the cut off frequency uh, of low pass filter should not be exceeded the sampling frequency then only the conversion will be possible by the way we require a sample and hole circuit to for the smooth conversion process okay afterwards we require analog to digital converter adc analog to digital converter so the whatever the analog input which you, it is obtained at adc with the help of sample and hole circuit it will convert the corresponding uh, digital form and we have a certain register that will be available to store the data in the form of one and zero so these are the major components of adc all right so we can recall what are the major components of adc so there are different techniques for adc okay there are different techniques so you can you can make out the following techniques for analog to digital converters for example successive approximation flash or parallel encoding single slope and dual slope integration switched capacitors and finally delta sigma technique and uh, next next thing is you need to understand resolution what do you mean by resolution so resolution we can define in this fashion uh, the resolution of adc so resolution of ADC, adc analog to digital converter is the number of bits used to digitally approximate the analog value of the input that is called a resolution so it is possible to calculate the resolution by using the given formula okay so the number of possible states suppose the number of possible state is equal to capital letter n you can see is equal to the number of bit combinations that can be output from the converter therefore uh, the n the total number of uh, what again say the possible state possible state can be calculated by using the formula n is equal to 2 to the power n small letter n where n is the number of bits these are the possible states which will be helpful for determining the resolution all the all the parameters okay this formula is very important for uh, adc n is capital n is equal to 2 to the power small letter n so please keep in your mind these points okay so we have discussed uh, the brief information about adc basic block diagram of adc then 
importance of sampling and whole circuit. Later, we discussed about the basic block diagram and how to calculate the possible states of a particular ADC. At the end, I have enlisted the different methods of ADC. In the next video, I'm going to discuss the first method that is called successive approximation. Let me know if you are having any queries related to this topic. Kindly put up in your uh, kindly put up your comments in the comment box. If the video is really useful, I request you to share this video to your friends and colleagues. And uh, if you want to get the similar video, kindly subscribe the particular channel of, of mine. Anyway, I would like to thank you for your kind cooperation. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.